uncle? Do what you do best. Use your powers to find out how Ludwig's death is connected to Pietia. With all due respect to Stasio, I don't want to make the same mistake judging my only son as he did. I want to know the truth, whatever it is. And those Krajewskis. I know the press is trying to contact them. I fear that without your help, they might publish something untrue. I'll go see Pietja. And where can the Krajewskis be found? They live in a courtyard facing apartment of a tenement house near the Imperial. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Thank you. Go. I stay here for a while. Have you been feeling tired lately? Yes. Have your wives been hysterical? Your chickens getting sick? Milk going sour for no reason? Yes. That's all caused by tempermancy. Curses, black magic, evil energy. You don't believe it? Here's proof. Ever since that Tempermancer was buried here, the dead have been rising from the graves. It's a sign that the apocalypse is coming. For more details on the rapidly coming end times, please visit our office. Are you the one giving orders to the WAS? Look who's here. A magician Tempermancer. The enemy of humankind. The ruiner of good fun, and the vanquisher of children's smiles. I'll ask again, who is in charge of this circus? The president told us what you are. If you want to ask him about something in person, have a look at the brochure like the others. You know how to read, right? I must disagree with some of your points. Like what? Wives are becoming hysterical. There's a simple answer for that. If I had a half-witted husband like that, I'd lose it too. Better go home and think about whether you're catering to all of their needs, like real men should, rather than running around these rallies. You! When was the last time you took care of your wife properly? I... It's been a while. Um... I'll go apologize to her.
I actually, I'll go to, to my Halincha. What have you done? Who am I going to speak to now? Fill out forms A1, B, and D12, pay the entry fee. Hey, he's a magician! Who's the head of this shit house? I am. Wojimiusz Konieczny, chairman of the Warsaw anti thaumaturge Society. And you are either extremely insolent or stupid to come here, Tempermancer. Let's talk like civilized people. You can't talk to magicians. They're non-human, like the vampires prowling the cemetery. What do you want? I demand an apology. My beloved Papa's grave has been desecrated. I won't apologize for anything. We combat black magic, which is a noble cause. Either you apologize, or I'll smash your face in. Valdush, let's go. There's no point. Did you come here to ruin me? Then now I'll take a look around. Don't try any tricks. I felt something. Where is it? Hello. Hello. Can I help you? 
Do you roam cemeteries and fight vampires too? What? No, I'm new here. They've only had me paint some banners for now. I've seen them. I can tell you're talented. It's just doodling. I won't bother you anymore. What do you want, Tempermancer? Why don't we try to work something out? I'm sure there's something I can do for you in return for leaving me alone. Now you want to make deals? Don't play tricks on me. Never. I swear on my late papa that my intentions are sincere. Well then, let's listen to what you have to offer. Since it annoys you so much that my father rests at the local cemetery, would the disappearance of his urn solve the problem? Perhaps. Are you saying you're willing to take it? No. I was just thinking aloud. Then why on earth are you here? No, we're not going to play like that. Stop wasting my time! I don't have anything more to say for now. Nothing can be kept secret from me.
Is there anything else you want to ask? I know about your little secret. You don't work here out of passion, do you? Is it necessary to enjoy one's job? You work for someone else, don't you? For the Russians, not the WAS. You must be crazy. I don't snitch to anyone. Leave me alone. I have a document that might compromise Mr. Konechny. Why should I care? Your supervisors will be keenly interested in this evidence, I presume. But I've told you. Just take this letter and do what you deem right with it. I'm sure it will help you get a better assignment than this one. Well, just leave it with me. But I still don't know what you're talking about. What are you sniffing around here for? I thought the Ochrana would be interested in your activities and sent them some of your compromising materials. They should be especially appreciative of how your organization gets its funding from the socialists. So the Ochrana sent me to Swava to you. Your snitch is just now strolling over to them, carrying all the evidence. Liar. Do you see her anywhere around here? You will regret this, magician. There won't be a place on Earth that will hide you from the wrath of the righteous. Fine. Just don't send your boys to the cemetery anymore. And send me a postcard from the Citadel. Mr. Shulsky. First of all, the WAS won't mess around here anymore. Did you send them to hell where they belong? They ask for it. Right. Better not mess with magicians, huh? They won't be running rampant here anymore. But now that it's all over, would you be so kind as to make a donation? For the cemetery, of course. And to make sure important notices reach you as quickly in the future. I'll be gracious. Please write a letter to my sister. She'll send you a check. Thank you for looking kindly on an honest man. If you do expire someday, I'll get you the most exquisite hearse. God bless, Mr. Shulsky.
I haven't been here in a while. What do you want to tell me, friend? I'll be first. You'll see. Slow down. You'll get your clothes all dirty. Looks like Javier trains. Enough of this, Narishkit. Say who you are and what you're doing on my turf. It's a little crude to shove your way into someone's head without asking. You don't have the guts to look me in the eye. It's better that way. We can talk as equals. What are you making such a gavol for? What do you want? Your salutor. I don't know him. He's a debunk. Looks around for lost souls who don't know better, and go where they shouldn't. Terrifying. Looking for a smuggler. What for? For smuggling, what else? I need Javier. Is that all? I took you for someone else. I can introduce you to Javier. You interested? I know Javier likes to fight. So, should we head to the boxing ring? Something like that. I see you've sniffed out what you can. Shall we? That's all? No extra conditions or requests? Tongue of a devil, heart of an angel. That's me. Lead the way. You sure changed your tune quickly. Welcome to Povishla. Fighting first. Hugging later. Ariel Rafe. Stick with me and they won't touch a hair on your head. Just don't come on Saturdays. Welcome to the dungeon. A mecca of gambling and violence. You see the box above the ring? I'll wait there. Make yourself comfortable. Put a bet on the fight. And come find me.
Place your bets, ladies and gents. Don't miss the chance to earn some dough. How about a bet? What kind of place is this? You're awful twitchy. You want a spree or angling to rat us out? Who let you in here? Forgive me, sir. I'm at a start party and I'm a little... Bad case of the jimmies? We all know that feeling. You're in our dungeon here, gent. No rules, no restraints. That's how we play around here. Ask away. I'll tell you what I know. Who's fighting? Our pride and joy. A real canny lad from right here in Povishla. Barstik. And in the other corner? Everybody who wants to take him on. All of them against one. Sort of a local tradition. So, you bet in there, ain't you? I'd like to bet on the fight. On Barstik or on everybody else? I'll bet a rubble on everybody else. Whatever you say. You take IOUs? Sure, why not? Get riding. You're fretting, Ariel. His hips are fine. Shouldn't you be at home right now? With your husband? And you, what are you doing here? Barstik, meet Viktor Sholsky. He has business with Javier, and he'll do anything to meet him. Anything? Anything. Victor is a tomaturge. That might make for a fantastic main attraction. What do you think? Sorry, what? What? A magician in the ring? Yeah. I can fight, but afterward, I'm going to want to talk business with Javier. That can be done. All right. Yeah, I like him. Senoras y senores, a slight change of plans. I won't be fighting. I know, I know. Barschek is the best, but listen. Marcel and his brothers-in-law versus a son of Shurmyrsha, a swell, a magician, Viktor Shursky. Don't embarrass me.
Victor. The crowd loves you. They love to hate you. That's all right, too. Give them time. Does Victor deserve the neighborhood's respect? Maybe the Chicos from Fifth Alley will make mincemeat out of him. You can do it, Victor! Let's get on with it! Who's next? Trading for action lost. Data connection loss. Straight from America, they box like a whirlwind and kiss like a dream. The Gordon sisters. Fucker. Try not to get them even more damn riled up. I'm only here for professional purposes. A professional ass kicking. So be it. Let's fight.
shit! How much more? Come on, smile! Bueno, that's enough for him. Come on, you deserve it. Did you see him? Not such a weak Chico after all. How do you feel? Mainly, I feel cheated, Senor Javier. Come on. Javier Sanchez via Conejito Ramirez. Good to meet a friend of Ariel's. Tell me, gringo, how can Javier help you today? I need a smuggler. I know, Mago. Say what you need me to smuggle. Who? One lady needs to discreetly leave the Russian partition and get to Vienna. For how much? How much do you need for this? The costs of transportation, bribes, paperwork. She can afford it. Let's just say she's quite far up in high society. A rich chica wants to go to Vienna? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure somebody is looking for this clafter. Otherwise, she'd get on a train. If they catch us, it's la muerte para nuestros amigos. However, fortune favors chutzpah after all. Al diablo. The river giveth, the river taketh away. Vámonos. So, what's now? Now go get the lady, and we'll meet at Port Praga at night. But tell that clafter of yours that it ain't gonna be a tea party. Adios.
Morana. Hello. Let's see what brought you here. I felt something. Where is it? Please, step back. This is a crime scene. I can see that. Am I wrong? Or does the deceased have no eyes? Yeah, no eyes, all right. And why would there be? He's the fisherman's sixth victim. Hey, Rogulski. Cut the chit-chat. And you three steps back. Go on! Is the fisherman some local criminal? Get out of here while I'm still asking nicely. Easy, I'm going now. I don't want to bother you. Just what I need. A fucking throng of onlookers. Move a little to the left, will you? You are blocking my view. What are you doing here? Drawing an illustration for a newspaper? For myself, as a local artist. I'm Cayetan. Do you specialize in still lives? Yes. You might say that. Here in Povishle, nothing interesting's ever happened. But there you go. Murders with an artistic twist. Very inspiring material. Povishle doesn't seem like a pleasant place to live. Is life itself pleasant? I don't think so. Even those mutilated bodies, they have no eyes. As if the murderer tried to say there's nothing to see here. So you're saying that nothing matters? Exactly. Once misfortune brought me to this river, I wanted to end my life. But the river wouldn't have me and threw me back on the bank. I decided to stay around. What exactly do you paint? Dead bodies. Someone might say the dead deserve respect. I'm saying that both life and death are meaningless. You are blocking my view. I'll go now. Any fish biting? It doesn't matter. What do you want? My name is Victor. I only wanted to ask what was going on here. With those damn police? They are trying to catch the fisherman. And the fisherman is doing his bit. Who's the fisherman? The one who left the body on the beach. Stark naked, with pebbles in place of eyes, and a hook stuck in the roof of the mouth. Like a fish. That's what he always does. The police call him a serial killer. A dozen people he's snuffed out like that already. This son of a gun. You sound like it doesn't bother you too much. And what should it bother me for? If he kills, he kills. We are not to judge if that's good or bad. The river giveth, and the river taketh away. Yep. And they can't catch the fisherman, even though he continues to kill. 
Is that right? He's smart, shrewd, not like those police fools. And everyone knows who he is. How so? Because. You see that guy on the beach who set up his easels in the sand and is painting? He's the fisherman. He paints all those bodies. He's always around the new ones. They even raided that hovel of his. Right, Edek? Yep. It does look suspicious. Everyone says it's him. He's a weirdo, living like a hermit in that hovel. Nothing holds any value for him, so maybe he takes people's lives just for the hell of it. Yep. And where is that hovel? Go along the river and behind the workshop. Am I right, Eric? Yep. Thank you, gentlemen. Happy fishing. Yeah, right. Hey, you can't be here. Uh, Kayetan doesn't allow it. I don't like you, Sonny. He's got nice shoes, though. I wish I didn't buy them at all. Well, I don't like that kind of resignation. But I still like your shoes. <sighs>
Can I help you? I'll go now. What now? Easy, I'm going now. I don't want to bother you. Just what I need. A fucking throng of onlookers. Still not biting. Is it bad that they're doing the job? And what for? Did anybody call them? Anybody complain? What do you think? Murder doesn't bother anyone? Like there are never any murders in Povishila. Big deal. The river giveth and the river taketh away. We'll do fine. We don't need the police here. Thank you, gentlemen. Happy fishing. Yeah, right. Let me rest. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time.
Hello. Hello, hello. How can I help you, sir? Are you buying? Pledging? Art, cards, old farts, top coats, key, jewelry. Do you remember Mieszko Setsemin? He was a lone shark around here. And you're asking me because? No reason. Setsemin died a long time ago. They say someone attacked and shot him. Terrible tragedy. Terrible. Even talking about him might bring bad luck. And so, life goes on here in Powiśle. Goodbye. Nice rugs. They smell like downtown. What are you sniffing around here for, Outlander? Easy, gentlemen. I'm a friend of Abaurycy Niedzic. Hey, Buster. You're trying to intimidate me with the shaves? Me? In Powiśle?
Is the painting finished? Nope. The police took the body before I could finish. But I'm sure something new will appear soon. Can I ask you a question? Whatever. I think painting those bodies has become something very important to you. I hadn't thought about it that way. It seems it has given your life a new meaning. Do you really think so? Aren't you afraid you might be arrested? You're always the first one out of the body. You paint it. To me, you look like a murderer. Me? Why? The bodies appear on their own. Besides, let the police worry about that. If they catch the murderer, there will be no more dead bodies to... pose. 
Right. I hadn't thought about that. I don't understand. It seems that while contemplating the lack of sense in life, you did find something you care about. Right. But that doesn't make sense. Why is it that in trying to go with the flow, I end up paddling harder? Where did I go wrong? Beautiful. It's time to free you from it. Can you hear me? Take a step back from him. What? What are you doing? They're arresting me, that's what. You've got the wrong man, Pilevin. That is up to the examining magistrate to decide. Let's take him. Tell them what you told me. You are not the killer. What difference does it make? Pilevin, you know he's not the one. What can I do? This case is taking too long anyway. How are you going to sleep after this? I'm going to buzz it up till I fall asleep. Preferably in moonshine. And now it starts to rain. It. Yellow belly. <laughs> Shut up! Hey, you! What do you want here? What, what is that you're playing with? It's a hook from a real dead man. A dead man's hook. Quiet, you dogs! This hook is from the fisherman's victim, isn't it? So what if it is? What's it to you? They've already caught the murderer. What if I tell you that they didn't? That they caught the wrong man? The fuck they did! Get lost! Unless... We trade for it. Got anything interesting to barter with? And what would you like for the hook? Uh... A cannon. A saber! Well, you heard him. If you bring us a cannon or a saber, we'll give you the dead man's hook. That should be doable. There were some old blonde sabers in Father's office. Go away now. You're boring. I have to go now. It's true.
fellow. I can't stand this weather. Can I help you? What are you selling? My late husband's junk. I don't need to look at all of this if I can't look at him. I'm sorry for your loss. No point brooding over it. The river giveth, and the river taketh away. I have to go now. Goodbye. Is the gent looking to forget his worries for a while? Discretion guaranteed. I haven't had an angry wife come here yet. Are you the owner of this establishment? Of course, precious. Welcome to Auntie Yaja's body house. Who usually plays the piano here? Would that it were only one. We get no shortage of has-been artists here, or them that try to bamboozle the girls into giving them a better price, especially if they're drunk. One of the girls saw it in a pawn shop. It wasn't cheap. Your employees play too? I can find you someone that can tickle the ivories. But that's not what I pay them for. Tell me about this place. All right, precious. Ask away. Are all the girls local? I know places like this offer lodgings to those arriving in the city in exchange for their services. If you're implying something, precious, I can assure you that all the ladies here work of their own free will. Imagine. Coming here to be a cleaner or teach children, and then the only thing anyone really wants to pay you for is your ass. I'm the reason they can make a living. No offense, precious, but you have no idea what it's like. Let's change the subject. Finally. Shall I find you a companion? Thank you. Maybe I'll return later. You're blushing, precious. Well, goodbye then. Hold it, Tempermancer, for I am White Roman. Pardon? 
You are Viktor Shulski, son of Shrutmieszcze. Your family is famous for its powerful tempermancers. If you're a fan, I'm not one to give autographs. I am a master of tempermancy, white Roman, and I challenge you to a duel. Everything is at stake. The winner will be declared king of the tempermancers. If you insist. The memorable moment is here. To me, devoted visitors. To me, salutos. Oh, God. You also took a valuable and instructive lesson from us. I accept the title of King of the Templemancers. I would suggest that neither you nor your salutor strain yourselves anymore. Your triumph is temporary, Viktor Shulsky. I have not yet said my last word. I will find you when you are ready for the next fight. That's what I'm afraid of. 
The things people come up with. What do you want to tell me, friend? Victor Hurry will be late for mass. I'm coming, Mother. Victor, do you think that when you have a husband, you have to argue with him? I suppose so. I don't want to have... I remember that. The last Sunday before Father stopped taking us to church. Because of me. I accidentally touched the priest's stone as he passed us with the sensor. That was the first time when I felt another person's thoughts, their intentions. I heard the words of someone's confession that the priest was thinking about. It was like they were directed at me. And I didn't falter to share them with the rest of the congregation. Mother didn't manage to stop me. And my indiscretion caused the prominent marriage to fall apart. My parents married not long after. Ligia? You finally came to talk to your boring sister? Talking to you is the greatest treat this house has to offer. I should enjoy that privilege more often. Finally. You're talking sense. In fact, I've got something to propose. Interested? Always. <laughs> I'm giving a lecture at the Flying University. It's a very informal educational initiative. Not to say secret. And an important one. Especially for women who can get an education from us, which they are legally prohibited from doing in the partition. I'd like you to come with me. What's the lecture about? The economic aspect of the woman's question. I've gathered some interesting data and managed to get some great sources from France and England. I'm sorry I asked. Come on. Those two brain cells you still have will appreciate a break from booze and trouble. Come with me. A lecture at the university? What's next? Fundraising at the cemetery? I knew that would be your reaction. <laughs> the lecture is in an antiquarian bookshop. I'm sure they have an array of books on thaumaturgy. Yes, uh, yes. And uh, do you know what? I've just felt a hunger for knowledge. Great. Which brings us to the most important thing. Everyone brings something sweet, so I ordered some donuts from Mrs. Yagoda. The best ones. And the best donut is filled with... With Advocat. There is a special place in hell for people who eat donuts with Advocat. Get those donuts, will you? <laughs> I'll see what I can do.
What do we have here? Salut. Salut. Have you heard this fancy pants? I've got the saber I promised you. Is it real? Come on then, let's see it. If we like it, we'll give you this silly hook. Here, yeah, I honor my agreement. It's real. Look at it. A real saber. I also honor my agreements. Here, the dead man's hook is yours. So, what now? Now I'll examine the hook and keep looking for other clues. Catrix and Lickspittle for the coppers. Shut your mouths, or you lose even more teeth. I'll help you. Come find me near Antiaja's brothel. We can resume the investigation there. All right, enough of this. Let's leave this place. That wasn't too hard. Then I tell him, stick that rubble up your ass. I've got my honor. You shot sure out a canny lad. Hello. I'm on my break. Come back later. I sent him, Auntie Clara. We're doing an investigation together. You're always up to something, Fiotrus. What investigation? What are we doing here? What do you mean? The aunties are the key to the world of information. They know and hear more than anyone else in Povishle. Are you his actual aunt? You really are a tourist. Of course they're not. But I prefer them to the real ones. They always help me somehow when I'm in trouble. They'll dress a wound, give me an apple, or a beer. Piotrus, Piotrus. 
nothing gets by you. You remember that lady's gloves? I said I liked them once, and he brought them to me the next day. Well, just say the word. What do you know about the fisherman? All I know is he's in jail. Finally. This cursed place can breathe a little. He's not in jail, though. We're looking for the real one. Piotrush, is that the investigation we're playing? What do you mean, playing? We're both dead serious and committed, Auntie. You better watch out. You'll get in trouble. What next, partner? It's not over yet. Now, we split. You go grill the other aunties, and I'll see you later. After dark, some of them work here, and others in the streets. Remember to tell them I sent you. Piotrek Justa, that is. And ask better questions this time. Watch him. If anything happens to him, it's your fault. What a day. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Have you seen anyone suspicious here lately? Other than you? This is Powiśle. Everyone's suspicious here. I have to go now. Goodbye. Good evening. Cloud behind the corner, five kopecks. Naked in a bed, fifteen. A blow will cost you three. Unless you just want to watch something, then it's two. If it's something else you're after, you can fuck off, or I'll call for help. Piotr Kjusta sent me. He's a nice kid. Piotr sent you? Well, why didn't you say so? I'll give you a discount, though. No, um, that's not why I'm here. I just want to talk. Well, fire away before someone is on to us. The fisherman. Have you heard anything about him? Only the things everyone's been prattling on about. But if it's information you want, buy yourself a newspaper. Two kopekas. Any other questions? Or should we get to the point? I'll let you get back to work. Goodbye.
If you came here to prattle on about justice again, spare yourself the trouble. I got the hook from the victim's body. Local kids had stolen it. I already have a few of these. Because of it, I know, let's call it, the scent of the murderer. A thermotage could be useful in a case like this. But the case is closed. That's enough. When I get sober, I put you in jail, I swear. Now leave me alone. We'll see about that. I'll find out why you're so reluctant to run this investigation, and then we'll resume it together. What? You're going to cast a spell on me, magician? Who knows? Don't go anywhere. I felt something. Where is it? No luck. Oh well. Good evening. Good evening. What do you want? I bet he's a customer. Do you want to put him off? How do I know if he's a customer or not? Bad things happen in this weather. You're right. What brings you here? What do you know about the fisherman? What an odd question. Unless... God, it's him. He came to kill us. But they just got him. That freak who painted corpses was the fisherman. He created inspiration for himself. Right? Take it easy. I was sent here by Piotr Kiusta. Somehow I don't believe you. Maybe you got him too, fisherman. Piotr introduced me to Auntie Clara too. I assure you they are both alive. I just want to talk to you. Well... If you hang around with Piotrek, you can't be the fisherman. Especially if you are that handsome. This is Auntie Clementina, and you can call me Auntie Anastasia, like the Tsar's daughter. But we don't know anything about the fisherman, and we'd rather not talk about him. I'll be off now. To bed. I felt safer with you around. All the joints in Povishla, you walk into this one again.
You won't give up that easy. Deep down, you're not that kind of man. Tilting at windmills has dimmed your investigator's instinct, but you won't give them the satisfaction. I don't have the strength. I do. Let's bring this case to a close. Let's find the real fisherman. You're right. The dubber is innocent. I'm not going to fall in with a heartless system where all that matters is the quarterly performance. Come, I'll show you the body. It's still in the ice room, unless the pallbearer took it. I'll tell you the rest of the story there. Viktor Szulski, Thaumaturg. Antoni Nigorevich Pilevin. Lead the way. I hope I don't regret it, Thaumaturg. There he is. Tadeusz Pielecha, a Powiśle man, childless, 46 years old. He was a fisherman. No, Tomatorg. Zadzela. He has multiple wounds and bruises. Yeah, he was tortured before he died. But the immediate cause of death was a strong hit to the back of the head. Stunt like a fish. It's a joke. I presume it's his trademark. Yes. He always puts pebbles in place of gouged out eyes. Ordinary river pebbles, probably collected at the local wharf. Any personal items? Something could have been imprinted on them. His emotions, thoughts, anything. All he had was his wedding ring. But we gave it back to the widow because she was crying that she wanted to have a memento of her husband. We should ask her to show this wedding ring to us. Where can I find the widow? She lives in a house on the corner. Between the marketplace and the Ajax brothel. Pileha wasn't the fisherman's first victim. What about the others? There was another fisher, a porter, a traveling saleswoman, but this is our best clue. Were other victims from around here as well? Some spent all their lives in Povishle. Others were passing through, and they were just unlucky. Then it's certain the fisherman lives in the area and knows it well. Which means he probably also keeps his victims somewhere around here. And then just drops them on the van? Hmm. Did he have a family? We only know about the wife. They didn't seem to get along. All right. The autopsy's over. When did Pielecha's wife report he was missing? She admitted she was worried her husband had been gone for three days. She did take her time. Maybe she was the one who killed him. Why don't you talk to her? If you need me, I'll be at the moonshine.
Will you stop sneaking up on us? Do you know Tadeusz Pielecha? Poor guy. He was the one the fisherman got this time. You shouldn't say bad things about the dead. But? Pileha came to visit us, our body house, the day before he died. He wouldn't pay, so... And Yaja, the madam, had him thrown out. Thank you. I will talk to her. I've had it. Let's get out of here. I'm not going to stay here any longer, getting wet and tempting fate. Let's go. Yaja will get over it. A friend of Piotrusz's, you can ask, just be discreet. What about Tadeusz Pielecha? Do you know anything about him? What a miserable chap. No one could ever cheer him up. It must be really hard for his wife now. A friend of a friend saw him in a moonshine often. A local joint. I know where it is. Anything else? Thank you for being willing to talk to me. Goodbye. Give my best to Piotrusz. Hey, what are you up to? Bothering the lady? Nothing comes for free. I know she doesn't have it. So here, I'll pay for the conversation. Well, all right. Of course I'll add something extra for the misunderstanding. Very good. Well then, have a good night. And you, get back to work. You're not from around here, I can see. Good evening. Is this a bad time? It is a bad place, fancy boy. It is for the locals. Is it the weather that has this effect on you? One more word, and we will take you out. I'm a friend of Tadeusz Pielecha. I know he liked spending time here. Bullshit! I knew Tadek, and I did not see you at the funeral toast. That's why I want to make it up. To Tadek, and to an easy death. All right. Come in. Just be good. What can I get you? I know Tadeusz Pielecha liked to come here. Wouldn't you rather have a drink? I... I don't feel like talking about Tadek.
you miss him, so do the others. You've known him for ages, and now the mere mention of his name tears a hole in your heart. Help me, and I will do him justice. Yeah, it's a damn shame. If he went back to his wife that night rather than here, I guess he'd be still alive. That means he spent his last night here? Yeah, when he left, that was the last we ever saw him. It was pissing down that night, too. And a few days later, he was lying sprawled out on the river bank like a dead fish. I suppose we don't have many customers on rainy nights like that, hmm? Can you remember who else was here? Just regulars. Same as today, some hookers come by at times. Today we've got one copper and one intrusive posh boy, which is unusual. I mean you. Did Pielecha leave alone? Gienek, the steel worker, left with him, but he came back shortly after and passed out in the corner. Then a hooker went out, probably to work. Do you remember which one? Clara. She's the caring one. She jumps around with that little shit Yusta. Did you talk to him? Tadek did more drinking than talking. He only complained that Yaja had him removed from the brothel. He didn't avail himself of it, and he wouldn't pay for nothing. Other than that, no. He was a man of few words. I'll be off now. Good riddance. Have you looked around? Any special requests? Tell me about this place. Yes. I've heard that Deus Pilecha came here the day before he died. You're not from around here, precious, are you? What are you snooping around for? I'm ashamed to say. Precious, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Tell Auntie what's on your mind. Nothing excites me more than touching things that have been touched by dead people. We make our customers' dreams come true, but this will cost you. I can pay you. How much? Twenty rubles. After all, it is an uncommon whim. Fine. In fact, the establishments of Śródmieście aren't as expensive as my sister told me. Go on. Upstairs with you. Just don't scare my girls. Can you feel it? It's the smell of mystery.
Yes. Do you have any valuables to sell? Like jewelry? What jewelry? Look at me. I had Pieleha's ring, but I sold it to a pawn shop. Money don't stink, you know. They didn't want anything else anyway. And where is this pawn shop? At Brovarna Street. But it's probably closed at this time. I have to go now. Goodbye. Let's wait. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Can I help you, sir? Are you buying? Pledging? Art, cards, old farts, top coats, key, jewelry. I'd like to see your jewelry. Gems, bangles, spangles. Wedding rings, golden. Uh-huh. Congratulations. Preferably from a stiff. I know you've got one here. What does a magician need a ring like that for? I've already told you, I'm getting married. I do have one, but it's not for sale. It brings me luck. I'll be back. No need. Can you feel it? It's the smell of mystery. now you can feel evil energy creep out from every corner surrounding you you're afraid you might be hexed you don't realize you bring bad luck on yourself how so don't you know dead people's things especially personal items attract restless souls Can you hear the whispers? Is it the wind? It's strangely cold here. Take this cursed ring away from me. I don't want it. I'll happily rid you of this potential curse. Anything new? Have you seen my little sassy Povishle boy? No. Is he a part of the investigation? Yes, you could say so. He was supposed to find me. I know the fisherman's identity. It's Clara, one of Antiaja's prostitutes. What? So what are we waiting for? Let's get her! I don't know where he is. I'll get back to you. So what am I supposed to... Fine, I wait. Have 
you found out where the murderer is? I'll get back to you. So what am I supposed to... Fine, I wait. So, this is where you've been hiding, Auntie Clara. Well, can we go get her? I can't wait any longer. I know where to look for the murderer. Well, let's go then. There's no time like the present. Is this the place? Yes, the fisherman's hideout. Is the fisherman there now? I'm not sure. I'll go in first. You can back me up in case something goes awry. I trust you. Auntie Clara. What did you do to the boy? Piotrusz's older friend. I expected this to be only a matter of time. I warned you he would get hurt. Why is he lying still? What did you do to him? For now. He's only sleeping. The little angel. Like the others. Don't be a hero, or the lad's done for. All right, that's enough talking. Give up, and don't even think about that knife. I'll have the last word here. Not on my word. Fucking hell. Well done, Talmaturge. Let's get out of here. The sooner the better. I'll take her, you take the lad. We need to bring reinforcements. I haven't seen miracles like this before. What about the kid? He's alive. Then wake him up and let's get out of here. It really stinks of fish. How are you? Do you need anything? No, no, nothing. I think. Thank you. Would you ever think she's the murderess? No. This is where my intuition failed. I'm sorry for dragging you into this, lad. Nah. Forget about it. The risk comes with the job. But... I guess you'll have to conduct your next investigation without me. How did you end up on this table? I found this dive, and as I was going to get you, Auntie Clara showed up. Then, I don't remember. Hmm, I understand. What will happen to Cayetana now? First, we have to get testimony from the murderers. It will take a while, even if I expedite things. The paperwork alone will take a fair bit of time. I'll call you. I'll be waiting for your call regarding Cayetan's case, Commissioner. Sure. Keep out of trouble. Goodbye. Take care, partner. We did good. Let's go. I'll show you the police station.
Good day, Mrs. Yagoda. Have you worked up an appetite for a cookie? I'd like to collect Ligia Shurska's order. Of course. Give her my best. And don't hesitate to stop by for a little snack from time to time. Have a nice day. I take the donuts and don't ask awkward questions. Have a nice day. Let's wait. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Mr. Shulsky, I presume. <laughs> what gave me away? Your resemblance to Ligia. And the book at your waist. That's an interesting way of sewing up the binding. Let me take your coat. The lecture has already started. Follow the corridor. The professor has already made a judgment. A change for the better? Surprising in this town. Inequality between the sexes is a real problem that keeps society in economic stagnation. No wonder if half of population cannot take up a job or are not adequately remunerated for their work. We want to study, work, make our own choices. We want all of our lives. Ligia, I'd love to see you on the faculty. You must agree. There you are. Samuel, Cecilia, I'd like you to meet my brother. Mr. Shulsky? The Victor Shulsky? The Thaumaturge? 
Yes, madam. It is I. Oh, I... I need to talk to you about Thaumaturgy. Ligia has told me a lot about you. I've been interested in it ever since I was a child. Although, sadly, I was not blessed with power. Sadly is not a word I would use. Mr. Shulsky, welcome to the Flying University. The university is an interesting venture. Where did you get the idea? Out of necessity. The occupiers control all the academies. They don't allow women to study and don't care about the level of education. And the future Poland will need an intellectual elite. Where does the university's name come from? For obvious reasons, we don't have a permanent residence. Our academy is constantly flying between the apartments of people willing to host us. Some also mockingly say we are a childlike and girlish university, as the university was created with women in mind. But the mockery will soon end, because our graduates have already started scientific careers abroad. Let's talk about something else. Of course. Congratulations, Professor. You did great. I did? And what did you like the most? What I liked most was seeing you as a lecturer. Damn it, you and your compliments. I can't stay mad at you. You know that science is your domain, not mine. Still, it doesn't change the fact I'm very proud of you. I'll take a look around the room. Mr. Shulsky, we must talk. It's important. Please find me later. Oh, I think you'll find that the catering tables aren't the only place you'll find something sweet. Give me a break. Uh, only if you brought some donuts. I did. I know one should not stand between you and sugar. You're speaking words of wisdom, brother. Then I will leave you as well. Mr. Shulsky, please meet our students. I also write term papers for the principal school students. Would you like some work? Excuse me, and you are... Viktor Shulsky. You are Ligia's brother? It's great that you came to your sister's lecture. Not all of us have that kind of support. I think my presence here is of no importance. Liga has always been the smartest in the family. You are completely different from my brother. He thinks an educated woman is a disgrace to her family. If he knew I studied, he'd beat me until I was bleeding. We all take some risk. Well, maybe everyone except Polina. What do you mean? She's Russian, and I'm sure she'll bring the police down on us. I don't know why Dickstein trusts her. Don't waste your breath. Better have an eclair. to talk to me? I've got a whole bunch of questions and I really hope you can answer them. Check your enthusiasm, please. You and your dress take all of our oxygen. Lucrezia, only feeble men are afraid to be inquisitive. And the Taumaturge cannot be feeble. The power you possess meddles with the very fabric of reality and the most subtle aspect of human psyche. It is... Overrated at the best, and made up at worst. I share your admiration for thaumaturgy. Too bad people are too ignorant to appreciate it. Hopefully, that will change. The bookseller went mad. Help! 
Is that your doing? Now you believe in thaumaturgy? Mr. Shulsky, please don't mind her. Let's go, they might need you. This is tragic! I need to yell about it! Thieves! This is an outrage! Calm down. We can sort it out. Do not tell me what to do. It is definitely the time to be nervous. I'm just saying we can look together. It might be a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? It's a theft! You! I bet you did it! What happened? The first edition of a nation tale is gone. My beloved game exposed to sunshine. Master! Greasy fingers! Oh, what a horrible tragedy. You can't treat me like that. Nobody leaves this place. Either I get my book back or I'm calling the police. What do you mean? I can't stay here any longer. Antoni, do not threaten my students. They are not students. They are animals. Mr. Shulsky can find your book. How can you be so sure, Miss Cecilia? You are a thaumaturge. You can identify the culprit from the traces of strong emotions. That's not exactly how it works, but still, your knowledge is impressive. Yes, I can do that. Really? And then can you bring eternal misery upon the thief? Of course. What is it exactly that you want? I want him to get blushes on the soles of his feet. Mm -hmm. Done. Good heavens! Mr. Shulsky, please, stop joking. We'd be grateful if you could find the book. Can I help you? Thank you. Goodbye. What's up, Sherlock? Mystery solved? You're as happy as a child on Christmas Day. <laughs> I like to watch you do something with passion. Who do you think could have taken the book? I have no idea. But I'm sure you'll be fine. You're way too enthusiastic. How many sweets have you had? Don't even ask. So you're on first name terms with someone, huh? How did that happen? Everyone's on first name terms with everyone else here. Somehow, I haven't noticed him giving any other student that much attention. <laughs> Watch it. You're going to get it. I'll be off now. You don't understand. I want to leave. And I want my volume to be in my display case. Maybe you're the one who has it. I'm not a thief, and I don't have to explain myself. Why do you want to leave right now? I told my parents I was going to church. If I'm not back on time, they'll start to look for me, and I'll be in trouble. 
Please help me. You can help by searching this young lady. I know subtler ways. Could you give me a personal item, please? No, she's not the one who stole the book. The trace doesn't match. How do you know? There's no trace of the thief on this item. That lady did not steal the book. I see. I can't open the door. But I can help you with your parents. I know what it's like when your loved ones don't understand your passion for books. I see. Thank you for your help. Mr. Schulski, there are guest codes in the wardrobe. I will let you in there if it helps you to catch that degenerate. That might be helpful. Then follow me, please. Have you found anything? Maybe, although I still need some information. Well, what are you waiting for? Fire away! The large coat belongs to Miss Lucrezia, I presume. The one with the satin lining? <laughs> yeah, no doubt. But I don't know why you're wasting your time on this. I found a men's coat in the wardrobe. One with embroidered initials and wooden buttons. Do you remember who it belongs to? With a worn-out collar and elbow patches? That's Valdemar's coat. You have good memory. Which you are using in a ridiculous way. Why don't you look for the degenerate? Thank you. That was very helpful. I will wait for the results, then. Grey coat with embroidered initials and wooden buttons. It belongs to you, doesn't it? Why do you ask? I think it belongs to the thief. What? No, I don't wear a coat. It's September. I like the cold. And that is not a crime. Leave me alone. found your book. And what's this? I hope you will find my little plot amusing. The city must recognize the power of thaumaturgy. Enjoy your show. You have earned it. Cecilia. I should return the volume. The bookseller will finally calm down. And then I will have a talk with the author of this letter. Here is your volume. You came back to me, safe and sound. Praise the Lord. I hope it was all just a mistake. 
No. It was planned. That was obvious. How did you find the book? The plot might not be too original, but it was certainly planned. You might be missing the big picture. The one responsible for stealing the book is Valdemar. He used his father's lockpicks and hid the book under the bed. Valdemar? How could you? What a... disappointment. The boy stole the book at Cecilia's request. She talked him into it. it it's impossible. Valdemar? It's true, Mr. President. Cecilia said it would be a joke. Do you understand what kind of situation this puts me in? How this affects our reputation? I'm sorry, but it was necessary. I had my reasons. What reasons? Nobody treats taumaturgy like a real science. I had to show its potential. Show what you are capable of. That's enough. That is no excuse. I will talk to you in a minute. Leave us alone. You know I was right. I'm sorry you were used like that. I've had a great time. If all the lectures are like this, I want to be a student. I know what you mean. Cecilia's methods are disgraceful, but she does have a point. A lecture by a taumaturge would enrich our academy. Please consider it an offer. I will think about it. Call this a proper time for a visit? What's going on? My name is Viktor Shulski. Sir and madam are already in bed. Come back in the morning like someone respectable. Fear not, I'm here for Rasputin. I can sense he's in a drawing room. Bothering you? Not at all. I've just got a few people together who I can assist with their spiritual purification. Have you come to get our friend? Yes. I'll get her out of here. Watch out for yourself, too. Thank you. I hope that you've had a hospitable stay. You have uh, unsettling friends, truly. The Nadarzhinskis are reserved and boring, unlike that uh, Grigory. What do you think of him? I don't. I'd like to leave this place now, if possible. We'd better get a move on. Finally, don't forget my luggage. How many dresses and pairs of stockings do you need? As many as I'd like. 
I have some very profitable secrets in that chest. Blackmail? Insurance. Correspondence with various people who aren't entirely aware that I didn't burn their letters. Do I understand that this time around I'll be lugging the chest myself? Hurry up. Around this ain't a museum. Head down. That building in front of you. The entrance is around the corner. You pick some very interesting people to work with. What's that? From now on, that's your problem. Entrance around the corner, right? you're doing. Did you want a pumpkin carriage and some glass slippers, senora? Smuggling in as romantic as that. Javier, yes? I've outgrown fairy tales. I'm here to make a deal. I left that fucking chest by the door. I could barely lug it. Big as a whale's two heads. We gonna do something or just stand here and stare? So what's the plan? What are we doing? You'll get papers. Austrian ones. Almost authentic, but don't go flashing them left and right. Then it's off to the pier, and onto a boat out of the city. Then a steamship upriver. In Krakow, a transfer to a Vienna-bound train. He'll be there in a few days. Si, bueno. As soon as we agree on the money. If this is going to work, then we need to get going. Ariel, you go to the puerto and call the little captain. La señora will get changed, and we'll follow after you. Victor will come too. You'll see if anyone's following us. Что? I do what? What you paid for. Via Candios, my friend. Agita nar, Shaifella. Damn wife fucker, you've ruined my life! Your chica did what she wanted. Victor, tell him I'm right. Two of you? I'll fuck you both up. I'm going to get killed because someone disrespected the sanctity of marriage.
Have you ever considered celibacy? Your business would go better. But what kind of life would that be, Senora? Boat can't hold that! There's no choice. If God wills it, a broom can shoot. Load it up. Vamonos. There's no time. I need another word with Victor. Senora. I wanted to thank you. I don't know anyone who'd risk his life for a stranger. If there's any way I can repay you, just... Say the word. I don't want anything. I hope you make it safely to Vienna. I'm grateful, but I don't like being in debt. And I also believe you have the right to know. What are you guys lagging around for? Hurry up! Your father moved in the circles of people who shared his views, who would like to see Poland back on the map. Do you understand what I mean? He was a patriot. My father and the revolutionaries? There's no way that could be right. I beg you. Whatever he was planning, it was certainly more subtle and effective than planting bombs in restaurants. I never met them. He called them his coterie. They were old friends of his. He secretly dreamed of creating a force that would give true hope to the Polish people. One that might till the scales in favor of the independence fighters. Loka, quickly! He believed he didn't need a great army, just a handful of daredevils with extraordinary abilities. You getting in the boat or not? I need to go. Your father was a wonderful man, Victor. And you remind me of him a great deal. Thank you, for everything. Wait, who are these people? How can I find them? I don't know. They hide in the shadows. Good luck. I trust that you'll find your grimoire, Viktor Shulski. Adieu. An eye on those bequeathal papers. If there's a problem with payment, we'll reach out to you. Why are you so distrustful? When a poor man eats a chicken, 
One of them is sick. Amigos. Think they're dead? They had no chance. Clad in clay and the fury of the sons of Israel will arise to crush their enemies. Get out of here. Golems follow blood. The farther away you are, the better. I don't believe it. Salutus can't physically manifest. Tell her to have you. Look at this guy teaching Kabbalah to a Jew. That was a golem, you schmuck. And it will pursue them until their blood is lost in the abysses of Sheol. You understand? What am I supposed to do to get rid of him? The golem is going to look for you until he kills you and all of those of your blood. That is, unless you can figure out why he was sent after you. You must have really gotten under somebody's skin. I haven't done anything to anyone. That means someone of your blood did it. Do you hear me? Ask your blood. Get lost. You're not exactly my favorite person right now. I guess there's nothing for me here. Is that the sound of a fuck-up? Shouldn't we check it out? Like hell we should. They don't pay me enough for that. You! Stop! Papers, please. I thought I wouldn't have to resort to this, but since you insist... Of course, sir. We are sorry. Go right ahead.
don't even think of reaching for your magic book. Vanya's pistol has a very sensitive trigger. The second he moves, I'll blow his brains out, Chief. Chief, let's do our best not to have Vanya shoot you in the head. All right. All you have to do is tell us where Svetlana Petrovna is. There must be some mistake, Chief. The mistake was beating up my brother. You did seriously rough up my men at Romancevo's apartment. You can hand over the ID too. You won't need it anymore. Svetlana. We've got to find her, Victor. Am I under suspicion of anything other than an evening walk? We know you helped Romanso escape. And I know she was sleeping with your father. I told you, he had no secrets from me. I was helping him. Where is she? And what do the secret police want from her? That woman was a Gordian knot. I know that she spent years compiling all sorts of compromising material against the Tsar's government. She was a traitor. We were observing her, but she managed to get everything out of her apartment. I need to know if her knowledge could threaten the security of the nation. If you want something from me, you just need to ask. I have a better idea. You tell me what you know, and I... I know where your papa's little black book is. Quid pro quo? I want to know who stole my father's grimoire. This time, you go first. As far as I know, all Svetlana's secrets went with her to the bottom of the Vistula. <sighs> Should we take him to the Citadel, Chief? No, Vanya. We'll finish this here. Why did you help Svetlana? Where's my father's grimoire? Look for it in uh, Stanislav's circle of old friends. People who could take advantage of a missing grimoire. Thaumaturges. Do you know who they are? Where I can find them? No. But once you do, don't neglect to inform me. And watch out, they're very dangerous people. I need to get out of here. You're finally here. We've been waiting for you. I'm afraid I was boring your charming sister with my chatter. Oh, nonsense. I'll leave you two alone. You look tired. Is everything all right? Do you need my help? This has been an especially difficult night for me. Is everything all right with Svetlana? Why do you ask? You two left without saying goodbye. Did something happen? I'm afraid Svetlana is dead. 
<sighs> I was afraid of this. How did it happen? I saw a golem. A golem? From Jewish legends? Is it a salutor? Yes, and it turned out to be a very real salutor. A material one. I didn't think that was even possible. And what does it have to do with Shvetwana? Did the golem kill her? You could say that. The golem sank her boat by collapsing the roof over the pier. Svetlana intended to live off of selling other people's secrets. Secrets can be deadly. Do you want to know what she shared with me? You're not proposing blackmailing anyone with anything, are you? Nonsense. Of course not. As I told you, I want the world to see my truth. I want to stop the annihilation of countless human beings. But on my own, I am like Cassandra. Yet, with Svetlana's knowledge and you by my side, no one will have any choice but to believe me. I'm intrigued. The question is, can you bear the burden that she also carried? Can you say which secret of Svetlana's you mean? She had a whole chest full of them. That wasn't in the chest. And now it's only in my memory. Will you tell me what this is about? Not here, no. Get some rest first. At our next meeting, at the Narizhinskys. It's safe there, for now. Thank you for stopping by. See you again soon, my friend. One more question. Might this golem cause you any trouble? I'm sure I'll find out soon. I think we need to have a word. How do you know people like this, Rasputin? He's that miracle worker I was writing to you about. The one who helped me return to my senses. Not completely, I think, given that you brought him with you. He just came to see me. I owe him a lot. It looks like he knows you better than I do. What makes you dislike him so much? It's how he talks and his eyes. They unsettle me. And he smells. Haven't you noticed? I can still smell him here. I can only congratulate you on having friends like that. First Nyejits, now a gloomy hermit. And ladies of the night have started hanging around outside the windows. Are they also friends of yours? Ligia, I'm really dead on my feet, but there's one more thing we need to have a word about. I wonder what I don't know yet. Was there anyone who very openly disliked Father? More than you? Touché. Hmm. Did he know some sort of thaumaturge who might have been out for revenge, or... Did he mention a coterie to you at any point? Did he meet up with other thaumaturges? As far as close friends, I think you already know that's a dead end. And he never introduced the Tomaturs to me. How long have you known your chief? What does that matter? So you knew he worked for the Ohrana? Yes. You'd have found in the end anyway, but he asked me not to tell you right away. I understand that each of us has various relationships we're tangled up in. But I think we should start talking about them more often. Agreed. I'll only add that a contact like him is very useful in business. I'm guessing he knows how to arrange contacts for you. I'm sure he often invites you to all sorts of soirees and receptions, right? I don't always accept. It seems like we've each got our own miracle worker. I know who he is, 
and I treat him very cautiously. Plus, we've already established that you don't report to me about your acquaintances. Besides, it was Papa who introduced him to me all those years ago. What's the real reason we're talking about Konyechkin? I saw him once more, at Port Praga. Uh, what were you doing there? I was tracing Father's missing grimoire. Someone sent a golem after him, and now that person is trying to find us, too. Why? That's what I have to find out. Did you know that someone sent a golem after our family? A golem? <laughs> the kind from Jewish legends? This one was very real. It destroyed half the port while it was trying to kill me. Port Praga? Are you all right? What were you doing there? I helped Fiatwana. She wanted to flee the country. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Do you know what forces you're playing with? You know full well who she is. Who she was. Sorry, what? Svetlana is dead. She was just setting off on a lovely voyage when a golem appeared and... Svetlana is dead. We're finished. They'll put us both in prison. What will become of us? Don't worry. Nothing will happen to us. I'll make sure of it. How will you do that? Maybe your devoted secret police chief will reveal something. Perhaps you should ask him. Yes, I know he's from the Ukraine. He's bragged to me about it himself. Well, maybe your magic monk is up to something, hmm? No, I've had enough. Don't say another word. I desperately need to be alone right now. Where are my cigarettes? It looks familiar, and yet different. Well, well. Is this a dream? Get out of here. Blind fool. Well, what don't I see? Maybe you could give me an answer this time. What don't you know? Why did you let a rat like Konechkin into our home? Now he's dogging Ligia and me. Were you working for him? Did you start informing on your customers for him? A fool's theory. Why is the golem pursuing our blood? 
You've not just put me in danger, but Liga as well. Who did you hurt so much that the Golem was aiming to? Hold on. It succeeded, didn't it? That's what killed you. That's what made the building fall on you. Who inflicted this punishment on you? What for? And how the hell do I lift it? Everything I've done. Was with your children and mine, I've heard it all before. For our good, I know. Thanks a lot. I definitely didn't ask for a blood curse. Are you finally going to say something? You've wasted your time. I left you all the answers. You just have to find them. Where am I supposed to look for them? In the Black Grimoire, which I nearly got from you? In that case, where is it? Who was it? Your friends? Your coterie that you hid even from your lover? Who are they? What were you planning? You possess everything I had. I have left you everything you need. Come back here! I'm not finished with you yet! Look who's up. Sleeping beauty. Have some coffee. In the morning, Grazenka brews it strong. All the revelations yesterday overwhelmed me a little. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my outburst. I see a familiar look on your face. It's the one father often gave me when he expected me to behave a particular way. Did it work? Forgive me for yesterday. Warsaw was getting to me. Yes, I know the feeling. And I don't want to quarrel with you either. We'd be better off focusing on the obstacles ahead of us. I thought that, given our situation, your suggestion to talk to Konyechkin wasn't so bad after all. I suspect he'll offer us a deal with the devil. For now. I'm just thinking out loud. What's next? I had a dream about father. Me too. Right after he died. He was soothing me with my favorite lullaby. First he insulted me, and then blood poured down his face. Mm. Very funny. Do you see him often in your dreams? This was only the second time. I hope there will be more. It's been a long time since I was quarantined in the hospital. They're not ordinary dreams. They're very realistic visions. I talk to him, I ask questions, but... I can't understand his answers. Why don't we focus on real life? I know that you're still sorting through things there, but I really have to visit our store in Mirov. I'm basically done. And I was planning to go there now after breakfast. Will you join me? Has anything been reported about Port Praga? I've been keeping an eye out, but nothing yet. But Svetlana's disappearance won't go unnoticed for long. Hyenas like fresh corpses. I have to get all this straight in my head. I'll meet you later at the store. Aren't you going to eat anything? I've got no appetite. Teodosia Majewska's bathhouse, Viktorius speaking. Trotsky, this is Pilevin. I was waiting for your call, Commissioner. Go on. They released Kayetan in the morning. I thought you'd want to know. I cleared him of all the charges, but he doesn't really care. 
How did the fishermen's, I mean, Clara's case end? They'll hang her. No one will miss her. I understand. to find their meeting place. Hello. You said a month, two at most. I believed you. Then came the very first rain, and it was pouring in again. You fixed it, then the next rain. Soaked. I can't sleep because I have to keep emptying buckets. It's leaking just as badly as it was before. But the eyes of God are in every place, and they're watching. Rabbi. When I said two months, you said there was one hole in the ceiling, but the whole building is in shambles here. I can do it. Quiet. You can seal up your daddy's barn with straw. The roof is gonna get holes because the foundations are crumbling. So, let's go down to the basement. Oh no, definitely not there. Am I speaking to Rabbi Sofer? You see, all I got to do is mention these cellars and his name comes up. Would Hashem let a synagogue be haunted? Hey now, quiet. You're too late, I'm afraid. My name is Feldman. Rabbi Sofer departed this world almost a year ago. Forgive me, I have worldly matters to attend to. I understand, Rabbi. And if someone were to help you with these workers? In the words of the market woman trying to tempt a Jewish man into idolatry, what harm would it do? 
I understand. What is this? The photograph, Victor. A marvelous invention. Father was very fond of them. I meant what father has on his face. That smile. I'm sure someone he disliked had just died. Did you want something, or are you here to joke around? The guy next to father. That's Hayat, right? Yes, he's just younger, Victor. That's how photographs work, you know. They stop time and place. I can also see here that they were friends. But a year ago, that ended and they stopped working together. Yes, you mentioned it recently. It's a shame Papa never said why. Could Hayat have wanted our father to die? Could he have sent the golem after him? I think you'll have to ask him. I heard that he bought out one of the two rundown laundries here in Miruf, not too far away. <sighs> You're welcome. Thank you. I'm taking another look around.
That's him. The one with the book. You oozing carbuncle. You ain't had enough of Warsaw yet? So you're sticking your nose in on people here? You know what happens to fellas who sniff around when they ain't supposed to? Miruv, don't kid around with them. I just wanted to stop by the laundry. He must have shit his pants. You'll have to find yourself another laundry. Talking nonsense! By Abraham's beard, that's... Did you hear about Praga? I'm at the harbor getting fish, and half the wharf is in splinters. They said there's even bodies. More bodies than they usually fish out of the Vistula, practically every day. They were only just writing about Povishle. But listen to this. They're saying it's some giant did it all. You sure? Maybe I can help. Recently, I've taken an interest in one of those. Leave us alone. Did you wander in here by mistake? I hope those guys outside are your relatives. Otherwise, you're paying too much for your protection. Are you scared of something? I'm not easily frightened. I have the time spent working with your father to thank for that. You got some dirty laundry that needs cleaning, Mr. Shulsky. Let's have a word about your conflict with my father. There was no such thing. I have warm feelings for the store, and his father as well. Why did you quit working for my father? It was a mutual decision. I know that you and my father parted ways in bad terms. What happened? We both had difficult personalities, but I still remember him fondly. You're not telling me everything. I don't have to explain myself to you, Mr. Shulsky. I'm leaving now, but I can tell this won't be the last time we meet. Farewell.
back up. God helps those who help themselves. But maybe you're right, Rabbi. Maybe Hashem is afflicting us, setting a test for us. You heard the Goy talking about Sofer. The old man cursed this place, especially these cellars. So I'll go on my own, and show that Hashem protects me against curses in Hashem's domain. On your own. You can seal up your daddy's barn, right? Fine, let's go. You've gotten the better of me again, Hashem. Your tests still surprise me, but if this is your will, I think Hashem has sent you to me. Who are you? I'm the son of Stanisław Szulski, and I really need help. Let's go into my office. Let's show Hashem we accept the challenge. Please, tell me what problem brought you here. Rabbi Sofer put a curse on my father. Unfortunately, it started affecting his children as well. A curse is a serious accusation, you know. I find it hard to believe Sofer would do such a thing. Maybe, Rabbi, you could tell me something about golems. Son of Stanislav, golems are a matter of Kabbalah, and you are not allowed to study them. It's a trap for a soul. There are tales of golems being summoned for revenge, or in good faith, for protection. But they all end rather badly. And you claim that Sofer supposedly sent a golem? I don't know. Did the old rabbi perhaps leave some things here? May I take a look at them? Yes, here you are. All his books are here. I don't think I threw anything out. Is there anything else I can help you with? Rabbi, could you tell me something about Sofer? He was fair, but also difficult and very principled, like this city. Riots, provocations, pogroms, overpopulation. But if he's the one who inflicted the curse, he must have been a powerful thaumaturge and Kabbalist. I have another question. I'm listening. I'll be off now. I'll pray for you. What do we have here? Rabbi? I'm listening. Rabbi, could you tell me something about Sofer? He was fair, but also difficult and very principled, like this city. Riots, provocations, pogroms, overpopulation. But if he's the one who inflicted the curse, he must have been a powerful thaumaturge and Kabbalist. Who can summon a golem? Normally, it's determined by need. The Kabbalist rabbi summons the golem himself, but other Jewish people can also entreat him to do so. In legends, the golem is a terrible punishment and a tool for meting out divine justice. But I think it's an offense against Hashem, and revenge is no justice. 
I have another question. I'm listening. Mordechai Chayat. Do you know that name, Rabbi? He owns one of the laundries here in Miruf, but I admit he doesn't really come to see me. Maybe there are other things I could be of more help with. I found a prescription belonging to the old rabbi. Was something troubling him? He had heart problems. The local pharmacist would even bring him some kind of special medicine. What was that pharmacist called? Abraham Horowitz. But now his pharmacy is sitting empty. Let me guess. He's dead? Unfortunately. Some say that the socialists were involved. Others claim it was the Ochrana's doing. Let's keep talking, if you need to. I'll be off now. I'll pray for you.